Welcome to Luxury Empire. No matter how old you are, no matter how great or small you are well, it's fun to dream about cars. Even behind the wheel of a beloved favorite, it is a great way of pastimes to look to the future and fantasize about your next car. Or just daydream about the set of wheels that you're gonna buy when you've made, you know, your fortune. While some people think that cars just get you from A to B, in this video you will learn why those people are wrong. Cars are one of life's greatest pleasures, and if you ask me, the rare, the better. In this list, we will reveal some of the most expensive and rarest motor vehicles of all time. But fair warning, they'll give you some serious car envy. So, without further ado, here are the top 10 rarest and most expensive cars of all time. 1939 Alfa Romero 8C the ultimate sports car of its generation, this 1939 beauty from Alfa Romeo is one of the only 12 ever made, which is probably why it sold for $19,800,000 in 2016. It was also the first of its kind to be offered at public auction this century, which probably helped boost its price too. Originally designed as a bespoke decadence for upper class clientele, the designers packed this car with cutting edge technology that offered the ultimate driving experience. It's impressive inside and out, and the lightweight exterior is one of the finest of its time. And under the hood, there's a 2905cc engine, which as they say, this supercar is the Italian equivalent of the number one car on this list. Any guesses of what it might be? Let's see if you get it before the reveal. Ferrari La Ferrari Cars don't always have to be vintage to be worth a stack of dollars, as Ferrari proved in 2016. The Italian supercar giant produced 500 of the coupe versions of their La Ferrari, which literally means the Ferrari in Italian. Very inventive, guys. This hybrid sports car is the most valuable 21st century automobile ever sold at auction, raising $7 million at an RM Sotheby's auction. The model sold was the 500th and final La Ferrari they built, which is why its price tag was significantly higher than the other 490. 99 which retailed at around $1.5 million each. Fancy getting your hands on your very own La Ferrari? Good luck! According to Ferrari, several high-profile buyers were turned down when they tried to secure their very own La Ferrari. Basically, if you're not already a very good Ferrari customer like JK from Jamiroquai or Shark Tank's Robert Hershevek, well, you can forget it. Ford GT40 Golf most of the cars on this list come from Europe, but this beauty comes from the good old US of A. Ford's GT40 Golf claimed its place in the history books when it became the most expensive American car ever sold, attracting a whopping $11 million. What contributes to the super huge price tag is its unique history. None other than Hollywood's king of speed, Steve McQueen himself owned this 1968 mean machine. It featured in a series of films including the 1971 classic Le Mans and Bullet. Who doesn't want to own a famous car? At at one point, McQueen decided to kit out his GT40 for live-action race filming, cutting a hole in the car's roof to make room for the camera. That didn't put off the buyer, though. Apparently, owning a piece of rare car history is more important than the car actually being in good condition. 1955 Jaguar D-Type Move over, US. The Brits are proving to be almighty at producing classic sports cars. This Jaguar's 1955 D-Type, for instance, sold for an incredible $21,780,000 at RM Sotheby's. They manufactured the D-Type between 1954 and 1957, and towards the end of its production run, they bumped the 3.4 liter engine up to 3.8 liters before reducing it to 3 liters to comply with Le Mans' racing rules. Confusing, right? And speaking of Le Mans, Yukiri Akas raced this particular D-Type to victory in the 1956 24 hours of Le Mans race, cementing its place in history. Before the 2016 sale, it had only had two private owners after Kase. It was actually owned by a single private collector for 16 years before the sale, so it really might have been once in a lifetime opportunity to own this example of race car royalty. If you prefer Aston Martins, maybe this 1956 DBR1 is more up your alley. It went for $22,550,000 in 2017, making it the most expensive British car to ever be sold at auction. Take that, Jaguar. Ferrari 275 GTB the first of many vintage Ferraris on this list is the 275 GTB series. They only produced 970 of these in total, so it's quite rare for one to come up for sale. The Super Series consisted of three 2-cam models and two 4-cam models, and both versions are highly sought after the world's biggest Ferrari aficionados. One of the rarest models, the 1967 275 GTB 4-star Snart Spider, sold for $27,500,000 at a 2013 Pebble Beach auction. They only built 10 
10 of this model, making it arguably the most desirable and the most expensive variant of the series. There is a rare 275 out there though, the GTBC Special. They built this one-of-a-kind prototype to compete at Le Mans and it finished third in the 1965 race. When this ultra-rare car came up for auction in 2014, it went to a lucky bidder for $26,400,000. I wonder how much it'll be worth when it goes up for sale next. Anybody have some guesses? 1956 Ferrari 290MM Sold in New York in 2015 for $28,050,000 as part of RM Sotheby's Driven by Disruption sale, this 1956 beauty is one of Ferrari's most expensive cars to sell at auction. They built this particular model originally for Juan Manuel Fangio. Since it's got history, that's extremely interesting to motorsport enthusiasts. The 3.5 liter V12 engine had a top speed of 170 miles per hour. Fangio raced it in the 1,000 mile Mil Miglia in Italy. Amazingly, despite its illustrious racing career, it never crash. They only made four of this 290mm, and one of them remained in collector Pierre Bardinin's renowned Mass du Clos collection in France for almost 24 years. It's unknown who bought the car in 2015, other than the fact that it was a private European collector. If it was you, let us know and maybe we can go for a spin. 1954 Mercedes-Benz W196 Silver Arrow this legendary Formula One race car is every motorsport fan's dream because Argentinian Formula One racing legend Juan Manuel Fangio actually drove it many wins. Why is this Mercedes so expensive? Well, it ticks all the right boxes. It's ultra rare and only 14 of the W196Rs ever existed. Right now, only 10 are left and this one belongs to a private owner. It's also a technological gem and as it was the very first fuel injected F1 car. It was sold by Bonhams at the Goodwood Revival in 2013 for $29,600,000 and the bitter one over the phone, so they remain a mystery. Another Mercedes made the news earlier this year for its history, not for its price. A 1939 770L Grosser Offener Tour Wagon used by Adolf Hitler received a bid of $7 million at an auction because it didn't meet the seller's undisclosed minimum price. The US Army seized the Super Mercedes in 1945. Had the car been sold, 10% of the sale would have been donated to a Jewish human rights organization. 1957 Ferrari 335S more from Ferrari now with the 335S, sold in Paris in 2016 for $35,711,359. This two-seater sports race car remains one of the rarest and most expensive cars on the market. It brings such a high price due to its impressive racing history. It won the 1958 Cuba Grand Prix and took part in the 1957 12 Hours of Sebring race and the Le Mans 24-hour race. There were only four ever made and it looks like they are as famous as its power. With a maximum power of 390 horsepower, it can do around 190 miles per hour. They built the 335S in direct response to the Maserati 450S, whose 4.5 liter engine threatened to blow out the 3.8 liter engine of Ferrari's 315S clean out of the water. There's nothing better than a bit of healthy competition, am I right? Despite its astronomical price, the new owner probably wouldn't get much use out of their 335S. It can't be used on the road as the manufacturers designed it purely for racing. Ferrari 250 GTO Which 250 GTO you ask? Well, all of them actually. An incredible 41 models from the series claim a place on the list of the 100 most expensive cars ever sold at auction, so the entire range deserves a mention. The Berlinetta model claimed the top spot on the list after being sold for $38,115,000 at auction in 2014, but a private sale almost doubled that price earlier this year. German race car driver Christian Glassell sold his 1963 model for at least $70 million. The GTO series goes for so much money because they're so rare, only 36 were made between 1962 and 1964, so it's extremely uncommon for one to be available to buy. Bugatti Type 57 SC Atlantic Number one is this rarer than rare black beauty from Bugatti. There were only four of them ever made and only two survived to this day. A 1938 model is owned by fashion magnate Ralph Lauren, while the 1936 version was sold privately in 2010 for a rumored $40 million, which is almost $46 million today. So what makes this car the most expensive rare car ever? Well, other than its actual rareness, it's also a thing of beauty. So much so in fact that Ralph Lauren's version won a prestigious award in 2013. 
The iconic rivets on the outside make it instantly recognizable, as does the classic shape of the lightweight aluminum body. Not content with just making a beautiful car, the Bugatti family also made sure that the 5.7 SC series was frighteningly fast. It could do more than 120 miles per hour in 1936. Now I'm starting to save up a little so I can make Ralph Lauren an offer. And finally, did you leave your guess for the auction price of the Captain Nemo's car? I can reveal that it sold for $45,000. Quite the bargain if you ask me. This was a custom-made vehicle for the movie The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, so it's as rare as they come. At 22 feet long with six wheels, and has lots of ornate metalwork, and prior to being sold was kept at a prop door. Still, I can't help but think it looks like a fancy giant tissue box. Thank you for watching Luxury Empire. If you enjoyed our video, make sure to subscribe and like the video. And be sure to tell us which car was your favorite in the comments, and I will see you in the next video.